you know what I want to do? I'm thinking I want to do a YouTube show. And I don't know what to do it about. Maybe I'll talk about hip hop. Maybe I'll talk about hip hop. Maybe I'll talk about shitty guitarists. Maybe I'll talk about great drummers. I don't know, man. I could talk about video games. I could talk about how having a regular job sucks. I could talk about that. <clears throat> I could talk about movies. I could talk about Netflix shows. How about, has anybody watched Marco Polo? <sighs> if you haven't watched Marco Polo, you have got to watch Marco Polo. 100 eyes. Two words. 100 eyes. Two words, but 100 eyes. A monk, a Chinese monk, capable of killing 25 of Genghis Khan's that's not Genghis Khan. And I'm gonna hear about it in the comments. Kublai, Kublai Khan? Kublai Khan. So it's like the grandson of Genghis Khan. Kills 25 of his best dudes with nothing but a whip chain. With like a, like a, he rubs his finger against the edge of the, it's like a triangulated, almost like a Native American shaved perfect point arrow at the end that's attached to the end of the whip chain it just houses everybody it's it's absolutely ridiculous they take his sight away no spoilers i have a habit lately of saying no spoilers after i actually give a spoiler but anyway i already said he t they take his sight away so he goes through the process of you won't watch this anyway if i don't tell you this shit if you haven't already watched this then you you won't watch it unless I say these things, you know. You know how you have to sometimes have a friend be like, "There's a scene when exactly this, this, that, and this happens." And you're like, "Oh well, hell, I have to go watch it now." It's like that. So they take his side away, and they show him just get. You know, he goes through the process, the grieving for his losing losing his eyesight, and. By the way, they take his side away by having like a snake spit venom in his eyes. And then he goes through the whole process of it, like trying to eat, getting mad, throwing the bowl, the bowl against the wall of rice. And then he starts to like meditate, feel the seasons coming and things like that. Smells the winter coming, feels the flakes. And then his then at the end, you know, he's like, after he goes through all this, starts practicing Kung Fu, and he's catching the bow staff in the air and doing just crazy stuff, crazier than he was doing when he had his eyesight. And he tells Kublai Khan, I now see with 100 eyes. And your brains get blown out of the side of your head. And then, this is the way I suggest doing it, Watch the 25-minute show called 100 Eyes on Netflix first because it's a necessary character little episode or a little mini show or whatever you want to call it. And then watch Marco Polo season one, season two, and you'll get into it and you'll figure it out. Unbelievable. It's not just some game you play in your swimming pool and you hope that your dad didn't throw too many, he didn't shock the pool that day. It's crazy. He was like the first historian, a Latin. It's amazing. I've been working with some people that they hadn't seen it and I was just like, what is going on with this world? You know, I get it. You miss stuff and I'd be so happy to have somebody tell me about that show. I would be. And actually, my best friend did tell me about that show, so shout out. But 
don't have to say his name because he knows who he is because I only have one best friend. But, and then like Narcos, why haven't you watched that yet? If you haven't watched Narcos yet, there's something wrong with you. If you didn't watch, what's that other one? Can't remember now. It's like an 80s throwback sci-fi flick miniseries. But Stranger Things. That's good too. That's good too. Actually, that's really good. Because it feels like you're watching. I don't know if there's anybody like my age out there. I'm not telling you how old I am yet. But if there's anybody my age out there, if you ever watched that movie um, Explorers with Ethan Hawke when he was like eight and they took a tree house and they made they made it into like a space vehicle, like a, you know, so they could travel to space. They designed like this little ball that could actually carry anything, any weight of anything and be their engine basically. And it took them into space. It feels like that where it converse and bikes and, you know, running off geeks playing Dungeons and Dragons, you know, stuff like that. A bunch of stuff that I probably did. You know, I did some cool shit too though. But yeah. So anyways, I'm starting a channel. I'm not 100% what I'm going to do. It's going to be good. Trust me, it's going to be good. This I'm winging it right now. I'm just holding my phone. I don't even have a wardrobe person. I'm in a V-neck. I'm all greasy and shit. I can tell. I'm really not this greasy, but there's like this light... See, I, I work out the kinks. But actually, I don't think the show is going to be about anything in particular. It's going to be about whatever the hell I want to talk about at that point when I do the show. So we'll see. And whatever I get the most feedback on from people that are interested in the show. So let me know what you think. And if it's good, then I'll take the advice. And if it's bad, then I'll be like, fuck that dude. All right?